We've just released a new firmware for the Morphogene that adds a couple fun new options. The first option is a new way to set the input gain. And the second is several new options in the options.txt file on the SD card. They set something called morph chord ratio, which can be quite a bit of fun to play around with. You can download this firmware and install it on your Morphogene from the link that you will find in the video description. And let's go ahead and check out what we can do with it. The input gain is simple. Previously, you would hold record and hold shift to auto level. Now you will hold record and press shift repeatedly to select from four gain settings, which are displayed by color on the splice window. Do it while monitoring to hear which one you need. Blue is low gain, green medium gain, orange high gain, and purple extra high gain. Blue is low gain, green medium gain, orange high gain, and purple extra high gain. This firmware version also significantly improves the signal to noise ratio on input and playback. Now the fun part, morph chord ratios. So you probably recall that when you turn the morph knob beyond the fourth gene, you'll hear some randomized pitch shifting of individual genes. With this firmware version, we can specify exactly what intervals they will be shifted to. As with other custom options on the Morphogene, we'll access it by opening the options.txt file from the Morphogene's SD card. The new options are at the bottom and are labeled MCR1, MCR2, and MCR3. MCR stands for Morph Chord Ratio. In other words, the numbers you set here will set the tuning of the chord created by the three genes when the morph control is near its maximum value. If you're not familiar with tuning ratios, I'll link some resources in the video description. In short, we can think of these numbers as multiplying the frequency of the original gene as set by very speed. Doubling the frequency with a ratio of two pitches it up by an octave, quadrupling it takes it up by two octaves, etc. A value of one does not change it from the original frequency. If we set them all to one, then they will not change. Values below 1 slow it down. For example, 0 0.5 is an octave down. A negative value causes the selected gene to play in reverse. There is an equal temperament ratio table provided in comments at the bottom of the text file if you want to create equal temperament chords. For example, here is a major chord. A minor chord. a diminished seventh. I think it's fun to do very slight detuning. Here I have all three genes very close to one, but not quite. Each is separated from the next by a Pythagorean comma. I also like to pull out the card and engage TLA to let these detunings accumulate and decompose. It works best with very speed set to the original pitch and gene size all the way down so we can hear all these gradual changes in real time. Any interval created will stack over time and eventually sub and super harmonics will emerge from the relations of the genes as they are smeared together. I found that it works best with a combination of ratios above and below one. Depending on how harmonic the ratios are and the character of the sound being detuned, it may or may not degenerate into noise. Doing this to any given splice will also sound different each time because the detunings will come in a varied order.
Using these new options, many new sounds and textures can be created. If you have more patch ideas, please share them in the comments.